Imagine turning YouTube videos to blog posts automatically. That's exactly what my project YouTube to blogs does. And in this video, I'll show you how I built it, the tech stack behind it, and why I decided to create this project. It is really simple. Everything we need to do is to paste here the YouTube URL and it transforms it automatically to an MDX file. So here we can see the name of our blog, the code review tool every dev needs now, which is basically the title of my YouTube video about code rabbit. And we can copy the markdown and paste it directly inside of our project. Also, we can view the blog to see how does it look and we can go to the my blogs page where we can see my entire history basically for my user of all the blogs that I have created before. This is an open source project and you can check out the GitHub repository. You have the, all the links in the description below. And as you can see, it gained pretty good number of stars, 121 in just two weeks. I announced it only once on X and that's why I'm basically creating this video because I saw that a lot of people have interest in these kind of projects. So let's jump into a tech stack for this one. Here is the code and let's open first package.json. Here we can see all the tech that is used on this project. And first thing I would say is the framework. I'm using Next.js and the reason is I'm working in Next.js for years. I know it like in small details. So that's the reason why I'm always choosing it. And it is really good, of course. Then for linting, I'm using Biome.js, this one, and Ultrasite. Now, the reason why I switched to Biome versus ESLint and Prettier is because it is much faster. It's built with Rust and somehow it feels much better. It's lightweight and it's somehow like more smooth than ESLint. And Ultrasite, the reason that I'm getting a good preset of rules, plus we have this cursor file ultrasite.mdc and basically AI is following all these rules that we are just given for free when we are using Ultrasite. For database, I'm using Drizzle as ORM, here it is right here, and also Neon to store that database on cloud. Then for AI, I'm using AI SDK and AI Gateway from Brussels. For authentication, I'm using the best, better auth, and also we are using here Remark and Remark HTML to show all those MDX blog posts as HTML inside of our browser and also YouTube Caption Extractor. That's a really important piece of this application because it is basically extracting all the captions from the YouTube videos. Here is the logic. First, we need to post the YouTube URL after that, with the extractor using YouTube API plus that package that is extracting captions, we are creating a good prompt and then we are sending it to AI. Reason why I use Gemini, because this is like on some border to being legal or illegal to just take captions and create blog posts. But using Gemini, it's also Google. So I'm hoping like that they'll say like we are creating this ourselves. And finally, we are getting the blog post or the MDX file, which we can just copy and paste to our project or wherever we need it. A lot of people ask me, why did I create this project? And that's why I created this page, why multiple blogs drive more traffic and conversions, so people can read a little bit about the power of blogs. And even if nobody is reading your blogs, it is still really powerful. And there are two main reasons for that. First one is the search engine and the second one is AI indexing. Imagine you have a blog about something that doesn't exist on web. For example, org developers. I doubt that somebody wrote about org developers. And if somebody Google searches org developers, you're going to be the first one on Google search. Same thing with AI. If somebody asks ChatGPT, are there any org developers? ChatGPT will search for all the sources and you'll be the only one who got something like this on web. So it's going to say, hey, I found it here. Like there are some work developers. Here is the source. Here is everything. And you are basically feeding 
the AI and the search engine with knowledge and that's power. And how I envision this in future is to be fully automatic. Now I have a YouTube channel, imagine whenever I post a video, it gets automatically extracted and turned into a blog post and then committed to my orgdev.com and I have all my blogs publicly available. The idea is that I don't have to put here YouTube URLs or anything, everything is automatically created, people can enjoy my blog posts, I can create my videos, and that's it. I hope you like this video, it is a little bit different, I wanted to give you a review of my project, and tell me in the comments, do you like something like this? I could probably go through like 8BitCN textual games and other projects that I created. And this project is live, it is on youtube to blogcom you have the link in the description below, and it is completely free, try it out, tell me how it goes. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and for more content like this, join the Mighty Horde, subscribe!